Diaz brother's story started in the crop fields of McFarland. Grew up very poor, poor family. But little did they know their dreams would soar on the track field. But running to me, it's just you and the, the world that, that you see. And that was some, some sort of relief, some sort of freedom that you get. Now their journey has taken them from McFarland to Hollywood in a new Disney movie based on their life story. Diaz, Diaz, Diaz. Popular name where you guys come from. We always, you know, involve the millions and millions of inspirational stories out in the world. We never thought that, you know, we would be in the, in the screen uh, in the movie. This is McFarland, California, a small city with a large Latino population. Here, working in the fields is a way of life, helping put food on the kitchen table. We were young. We were 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. We were working there. We go to work at 6 in the morning and work for about three hours from 6 to 9 a.m. And then my mom would bring us and drop off at school. We hated the fields, and we, we strive to, to find something better. You know that kid? Yeah, it's Thomas Bell. You know how fast you were going? What, are you a cop? Because you were running a mile in five minutes, so? And while others saw pickers, McFarland High School coach Jim White saw boys who had something more, forming the school's first cross-country team. We met up with the real coach White and Kevin Costner, who plays him in the film. What made the Diaz brothers' story so special? Anytime you see the uh, dedication of working in the field, if you can see that in somebody, you can in kind of guide them, give them some direction, and give them some uh, hope that they can do something better with just as much hard work. And that's what we try to do with them. The idea for any of us to give somebody a chance to show them that their world can be bigger than, than what they know it to be, that in itself is a gift. Against all odds, the team went on to win the 1987 state championship. Damasio and I, we used to share, you know, clothes and because we were kind of the same height and same body size and, and same uh, shoes. So even on races, we would just share shoes. Propelling the Diaz brothers towards a new future. We all graduated from college. We uh, pursued degrees. In a way, did you run like towards your, your American dream? Well, running took us out of the environment we were in. We, we did not know what it was to travel, to go eat in restaurants. They could be living anywhere else, but the brothers returned to where it all started, continuing to live in McFarland with their children. To know that the, our whole entire life has changed because of the things that, the sacrifices they've made and the things that they've done to give us a better life, I think it's a blessing, honestly. Many of their kids have even embraced the sport. It's something we kind of we just were born into. I've been running since I was in kindergarten, and it's just something we all love to do. After you've seen everything that running has done for your dad and your uncles, do you hope that it can do the same for you? Definitely. I think that if we keep running and if we just keep training and having a positive attitude, you know, you can go anywhere. There's n no limit. This family story giving visibility to faces you wouldn't otherwise see on the big screen. That anytime you acknowledge someone, it's not only important, it's almost a part of the human condition that we acknowledge each other, that, that, this, that food on our plate doesn't magically appear, that we understand that there's McFarlands all over this country. 